technologies play a very important role in helping the transport system become more sustainable and reaching all of the many uh, diverse objectives that the transport system is facing. So examples of some of the most promising technologies I would say right now are first of all we can cite um, a big achievement for Europe which is the e-call uh, system. A second one uh, really relates to the numerous smartphone applications that are providing uh, more complete integrated information to travelers. One of the real issues for travelers throughout the system, and particularly in urban areas, but not exclusively, is that it's hard to have the ensemble of information about all the different modes, all the different mobility options in one place. So even if somebody didn't want to take their car, sometimes they feel they're obligated to because they don't know that, for example, there are bus services that will lead to metro services that can then be linked up with bike sharing or with ride sharing services. And now, more and more, this is uh, becoming standard everyday practice for travelers in urban areas throughout the world. You're not going to get people out of their cars, even if you have the most efficient charging scheme, if you don't have an option for people. So a really high quality integrated, and I would emphasize accessible transport system, because as long as it's accessible to everyone, it's going to provide that easy, smooth, uh, high quality public transport experience that everybody is going to need, want, and require uh, in order to get out of their cars. BASF. We create chemistry.